just got to work when one of the men fell over a ledge and landed on a rock and was killed. Nothing doing in the way of work. So I guess they shut down for the day. And people did lose their lives back there building that thing. The work was dangerous and sometimes deadly, but the Kettle Valley Railway had to be built. The construction of the KVR was important for British Columbia, not just economically, but also politically. And there was real fear that this part of the province would become within the orbit of the United States. The construction of the KVR then was uh, insurance, if you'll have it, that this region would be part of Canada and the lines of communication would be east and west. And Andrew McCullough is the man responsible for the technical side of that. We've all heard about McCullough, and now we have some actual documentation of what he done and went through and how he built it and, and figures and notes from him about the workers up there. An engineering marvel of the early 20th century, McCullough and his crew built the 18 wooden trestles in just two weeks. Through fundraising, the Myra Canya Trestle Restoration Society has acquired the original diaries of this Canadian master builder and donated them to the Penticton Museum and Archives. Andrew McCullough is one of Canada's foremost engineers. I mean, an amazing man. His technical ability, his engineering ability. Now to have his technical diaries available for the public to examine is in many respects, a major coup for all of us. We have over 20 volumes, but we have the complete set from 1910 to 1917, which is the time span when the Kettle Valley Railway was built. They tell us a lot about how Andrew McCulloch worked, uh, how he approached all the different challenges associated with building the KVR. He was building this on the side of steep slopes uh, at 1,200 feet elevation. So they, there was a whole lot of rock work. They had to blast places and then fill in the gaps and then there was the, the need for 18 trestles in a 10 kilometer stretch. I'm holding Andrew McCullough's work diary from 1911 when the Kettle Valley Railway was under construction. I'm looking for any insight into his character as to who, what kind of man he was. I can see here he was really meticulous and had great care for detail. I would love to spend time trying to discover what these pages have about the real Andrew McCullough. The person he was, the man who inspired so much when he, when he was the chief engineer of the railway. The exciting thing for a historian is you never know what you're going to find until you start looking. You know? And there's always nuggets, there's always gems. I think that's what makes this three so interesting.